Hey guys, my granddaughter Callie is joining me today. It's a super treat. She's here just for a little while. She'll be leaving to start a ministry internship. So welcome to Hello Healthy Habits, Callie. Today we're continuing on a journey to feel better and to look better and be able to accomplish the things God's called us to do. And we're doing that one bite at a time with Healthy Habits That Heal. So today we're concluding the Healthy Veggies Habit by spotlighting two superstars. Tell us what they are. Fermented and sprouted veggies. Sprouts and fermented veggies are so nutrition packed they could be classified as supplements or superfoods since they're therapeutic in so many ways. But you know what guys, the more I study God's whole plant foods, the more I've decided each one has unique super nutrients for our body. God is just brilliant. So let's talk first about fermented foods. Fermented foods and the probiotics in them are a hot area of study for scientists because they're just in the last few decades really learning how much our health is tied to our gut and in particular the balance of what they call our microbiome. Now microbiome is just kind of a big word for the combination of the good and the bad bacteria that reside in our bodies, mostly in our guts. So just like in a battle, who do we want to win? The good guys. We want the good guys. <laughs> so sadly in our modern diet, lifestyle, and overuse of antibiotics, it's left many of us with what experts call dysbiosis or an out of balance microbiome. Getting our guts back in balance is key to good health and I really believe fermented foods are one of the keys. So in addition, fermenting has been a source of preserving food and serving a good dose of health for thousands of, thousands of years, like before refrigerators, this is something that I believe God just put in nature. Um, so in the book, Beauty Detox Food, Kimberly Snyder gives us some clues and Callie's gonna tell us about that. Kimberly Snyder says, I am now convinced that raw cultured vegetables are among the most important foods of our modern day, as they are powerful, extremely helpful weapons to clean out sludge and to look younger and more radiant. She also teaches us, as the inner balance of good bacteria is restored in your body, you'll be able to shed excess weight, your skin will improve, your energy will become more vibrant. Wow, that's a lot of good stuff. Thank you, baby. <laughs> These foods help with digestion and elimination too, and so many foods can be fermented. But sauerkraut is one of the most common. You've tried sauerkraut at Nanny's house. Yes. So don't be fooled by sauerkraut in cans. Read and make sure the sauerkraut you buy has been fermented naturally. You'll find it in the refrigerator section of grocery stores. We enjoy one made by Bubby's that our grocery store carries. So even better and cheaper, make it yourself and tune into Fun Food Fridays and we're going to be doing a segment about making our own sauerkraut soon. I'm working on trying to make my own a regular habit. So join me and we'll figure this out together. So now let's talk about some, some sprouts. Mm -hmm. And Kimberly Snyder brags on sprouts also. She tells us some things and Callie's gonna tell us about it. She tells us sprouts are one of the most powerful foods for cellular regeneration and health. Sprouts contain an incredible range of nutrients to cleanse your body, nourish your cells and tissues, and contribute to a beautiful glow from the inside and out. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, who doesn't want a beautiful glow from the inside out, right? <laughs> Sprouts are also in essence a pre-digested food whose nutrients are extremely easy for your body to assimilate and use. And when our body's a little bit compromised, like with you know an out of balance gut, pre-digested like Sprouts provide is really important. So they have a potent number of antioxidants, proteins, enzymes, minerals like iron, calcium, and sulfur. They can easily be grown at home and there are so many varieties. We're gonna do a segment on Fun Food Friday with sprouting as well. So stay tuned, we can do this guys. So there's no way to cover all the nutritional benefits of these foods in the short time we share with you, but I hope that we have convinced you they're worth the effort for health. So fermenting and sprouting have been kind of a hit and miss in our home, but I'm gonna get better at it. <laughs> So along with you, we can do this. So if you're already sprouting seeds on a regular basis and fermenting, encourage us by showing us pictures and letting us hear about it. And those of us that are just more starting out, just kind of making this a regular habit, 
then let's post our journey too. So that's it for the day. Keep up the greens, cruciferous, and the veggies, and add some foods like sprouts and fermented foods. And we're on our way, guys, to feeling better. Just one bite at a time. So here's our prescription when it comes to fermented foods and sprouts, and Callie's gonna tell us what that is. Fermented foods is one half cup daily, and sprouted foods is a half a cup daily. Okay, perfect. We can replace any of the veggie servings with these, or even better, add these to your daily routine. So thanks for joining me, Callie. Thank you. Absolutely. Such a treat to have her here. Join us again, I hope. Yes. All right, that's it for the day. God bless you big. Bye-bye.